All right, what's next here? I need to put some kind of edge on here so this isn't so floppy, some kind of reinforcement. It has to not be in the way of whatever is holding the pontoon thing, though. I think one, one, I'm going to put one back here somewhere and then one up there so they're not in the way of where the driver sits in case the driver needs to paddle at some point in time. I got some new resin, so it's not so hard to get it to soak in. The new resin is very watery, so nice. And I'm thinking of using some of my old resin, like the thicker resin, as gel coat. That's pretty much what gel coat is, you know, just thicker, pretty, pretty much. straight. PVC pipes will stay there, so you know when people hit this with I don't know paddles and pieces of wood or whatever thrown in the boat, the PVC will get damaged, not the fiberglass. <sighs> I guess I already have itching dust on me. <sighs> Let's tackle this sand job. Plus, I've already done up to here. Oh, it's only not even a quarter of the way. I got up to halfway. Ah, I'm leaving it for today. I figured out what to do with this thing. It's a rain cover so that if it rains tonight, I don't have to figure out how to get the water out of those little nooks and crannies before I fiberglass it. Oh, isn't that great? Got that dude all sanded just in time for the rain. Things wet, so no fiberglass today. So gonna figure out this pedals situation. I want to make them out of stainless steel I think so I just pulled out a bunch of stainless steel stuff. Alright here's what I've got. Here's the the two gears I have. This is obviously the shaft that goes to the propeller. Here's the little bearing that holds the big gear against the little gear. Now going through the middle here is a steel tube. And it's going to look like that. I'm going to have to weld a circle on it so I can bolt the big gear to it. Okay. This shaft going through the main shaft, I'm going to make with this. And I'm thinking I can... This is welded on here right now. I'm thinking I can cut it off, move it into the middle somewhere, and weld it back on. Okay, bolt going through the middle. That's... 
probably gonna be this guy. Are you guys flooding my workshop? No. Oh, okay. Keep it in there, keep it in there. Job of welding this. And I am loving having a milling machine. It drills so smooth. <laughs> I can't see all the marks very well. It's not going to fail. That's excellent. Nice. Oh, that's great. Ooh, custom nuts. Your nuts. What, my nuts? No. Oh, that's some good stuff. Vroom.
Ох. Joe, I think I've got it. Ooh, down to a nub. I had to sit here and wait for the sun to come out because this is running directly off solar panels. Cleaned it up with an angle grinder a bit. Can't say it's the best welding job I've ever done, but not bad for a welder that only has one setting. Well, two if you count off. All right, Jamie, do not screw this one up. Oh, nice fit. Well, that's not good. That's more like it. Keep a few washers in there as a spacer. Not sure exactly where this should go. It's pretty close to where it should be. So with the washers I can you know, make adjustments. Alright, I want to put this all together. And I've got my custom nut. But where is my custom bolt? Oh. Is this the universe telling me I need to clean up? I just checked my camera for the last time it was on video. I took another thing and dropped it right there. It is not there. I've just found it in a place. There's like no way I put it there. And then I saw something else in here that definitely I did not put in there. I... Did you move stuff in my house? Where'd this come from? Oh, Bellatrix was in here. I've been looking for this stupid bolt for like 20 minutes. Oh man, six-year-olds, they can really throw a wrench into the operation. Man, that is some good looking cranks. Ooh, strong stuff. No wiggle in those things. Yeah. Let's check this. Pretty much no chance of that hitting. Good thing. There's plenty of space to spare. I got these guys covered. And uh, it was pretty easy to do because the fiberglass just conforms nicely to everything around there. And I let it kind of bubble out a little bit to leave a, a nicer uh, transition between that surface and this one. And then back here, you know, I just clipped it and put a piece of pipe around just to keep this part closed. Oh, those came out nice. Just a bit of sanding to get this junk off and it'll be good. Hey, where's the other end? Alright, I need some kind of bearings for this thing. One here and one over here. Oh, those are going to be so nice when I get them all sanded. That's a job for tomorrow.